Hi, my name is Stefan Kissler. I'm an assistant investigator here at the Jawson Diabetes Center in the section for immunobiology. So we st study the immune system and in particular uh, we study how the immune system causes type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease uh, which means that it is the immune system that attacks the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. And when these cells have been attacked and destroyed, you lose insulin production in the pancreas, which leads to uh, hyperglycemia and diabetes. And so here at Joslin, we're uh, devising a new strategy to try and uh, prevent and hopefully cure type 1 diabetes uh, based on a three-pronged approach. Uh, we want to fight the immune system to prevent it from destroying the beta cells that produce insulin in the pancreas. And we also want to restore the beta cells that produce insulin so that uh, if you have type 1 diabetes already, uh, we may be able to replace the cells that you have lost um, to uh, cure the disease. And so uh, my main uh, focus is really on uh, those cells that uh, go into the pancreas and destroy these insulin producing cells, uh, these so-called T cells. And T cells develop uh, from progenitors uh, from uh, very immature cells that live in the bone marrow and uh, migrate to the thymus. The thymus is an organ that sits right above your heart here and this is where the T cells develop. And this is a very important place for T cells because that's where uh, they undergo a quality control. So you can make all kinds of T cells that recognize all kinds of pathogens, uh, be it viruses, bacteria and so on. And being able to make millions of different T cells also means that some of these may in fact recognize components of your own body and uh, think that they are dangerous and infectious and kill them. And to prevent these T cells from being let loose into your body, uh, these cells are deleted in the thymus. So the thymus is a big filter that prevents dangerous T cells from being let loose uh, in, in the periphery. And so this is one of the things that may go wrong in type 1 diabetes is that some of these T cells that develop in the thymus that should be deleted because they might target the pancreas uh, in fact sneak through and end up in your blood and then uh, as time goes by they might in fact one day uh, start invading the pancreas and destroying beta cells. And uh, once they're in circulation these cells are very hard to stop. So specifically my laboratory is interested in uh, finding out new ways of better regulating the immune system or helping reset the immune system and improve this quality control that happens in the thymus. And the way we're going about, uh, about this is that we're studying the genes that have been associated with type 1 diabetes in people. And so uh, there have been these uh, very large genetic studies over the last 10 years or so that have shown more than 50 genes to increase the risk of type 1 diabetes. And to us, these genes are clues. They're uh, evidence of things that may be going wrong in the immune system. And so we're studying these genes in particular to find out if any of these may uh, provide a new strategy to intervene in the disease to better regulate the, the, the immune system or to improve this quality control in the thymus. And so this is a, a, a joint effort between my laboratory and the laboratory of Thomas Sowald, who also works on, on these very problems. And really what's unique here at Jarsen is that we're not working uh, just on the immune system, but we have uh, several colleagues who work on the beta cell side of things. And so we believe that really to cure type 1 diabetes, we need this three-pronged approach where we reset the immune system and better regulate it, but then also that we regenerate the beta cells. And so all in all, I think this three-pronged approach that we like to call the three R's, the reset, regulate, and regenerate, uh, should hopefully one day lead to a cure for type 1 diabetes.